Four races from Ireland will close the day then. This is the Clonmel Oil Chase. It's a grade two over two and a half miles. And at the top, we've got Dimwit for Craig Beckwith, High Admiral, Paul Rhodes, Loyal Ally for Leon van Rensburg, Stan Meller, Graham Clutterbuck, The Overlord, Joshua Sutherland, The Ringer, David Robertson, Western Warmth, Darren Thompson, Carbon Neutral, Graham Clutterbuck, Northern Life, Kevin Meenham, and Through the Valley of Jumps for Obi-Wan. So 10 in this then, and away they go. And just about The Overlord, the first to show as they make their way towards the first of the 18 fences they've got to negotiate this time but now the OB1 horse has come through to take it up through the Valley of Jumps and they all get over the first nicely with through the Valley of Jumps in the yellow jacket the leader from High Admiral in one of Paul Rhodes' set of silks in second as they get to the second and they're all safely over that one nicely with Dimwit just the back marker so past the stand then and, and they'll go out now for two more circuits I believe of this track with through the valley of the jumps in the lead. Loyal Alley is in second, and then High Admiral on the ringer with the Overlord, and then Carbon Neutral with Western Warmth. Dimwitz moved through on the inside and has gone past Northern Life and Stan Miller as they get to this ditch, which they're all safely over. Although one or two of them were a little bit untidy, most notably Carbon Neutral and Northern Life, who are both down on their nose. But through the valley of jumps is out running the cameraman we've lost them behind the trees for a second as well so we switch into the other angle now and we get over that fifth one and we can now sort ourselves back out again it's a short run to that ditch which they've all successfully negotiated and through the valley of jumps has got through that little period of the course safely enough in the lead mistake by the ringer for David Robertson has seen that one shuffle down towards the back but it's through the valley of jumps who's in the lead over the eighth the fence is coming up thick and fast as they race downhill and then immediately straight back uphill again and through the valley of jumps he's in the lead from Loyal Alley who's gone second and then High Admiral third Dimwit has moved through nicely into fourth then the Overlord then Northern Life then the Ringer trying to recover from that mistake Western Warmth is after that one and Graham Clutterbuck's pair at the back Carbon Neutral and Stan Meller but through the Valley of Jumps leads them into the straight they've got another circuit to go remember and a lot of jumping still to do and through the Valley of Jumps is the leader by about four lengths to Loyal Alley in second, and then High Admiral is third, Dimwit is fourth. Bit of a gap then to the Ringer as they take number nine, they're all safely over the ninth with the Ringer making ground again. A good jump there as they get into the next one. The leader was slow at that one, Dimwit jumped it really nicely, and has now almost moved alongside through the Valley of Jumps as they come up past the winning post. And we see the sign for Clon Melt, which is where we're at. Clon Mellon will chase and it's through the Valley of Jumps who's in the lead from Dimwit in second then the Ringer is third Western Warmth is closest to us in fourth then Carbon Neutral who's now making a really good looking move through the pack High Admiral and Loyal Ally have both lost their place and then Northern Life as they get over that ditch Stan Miller still the back marker the Overlord being scrubbed along as Dimwit now comes to take a share of the lead so it's Dimwit on the near side who takes this one in the lead but a better jump on the far side there by through the Valley of the Jumps we lost the Ringer at that one who's been jumping a bit dodgily throughout the race he's finally paid the price into this next ditch they go and that time it was Darren Thompson's horse that made the mistake Western Warmth and now all of a sudden there's four or five in a line but through the valley of jumps doesn't want to surrender the lead but the Overlord has taken it up it's the Overlord who's now gone on from Dimwit and through the valley of the jumps then Carbon Neutral then comes High Admiral they're over the 16th they've got two more to take and this is still wide open and the Overlord is about a length clear, but there are six of them behind him, all coming through a challenge, including Northern Life, and Northern Life has now swept into the lead. It's Northern Life who's taken it up for Kevin Meenan. Then comes the Overlord, Western Warmth, Dimwit is after that one, then High Admiral, and through the Valley of the Jumps is now starting to drop away. Stan Meller's tailed off, and Loyal Alley is beaten as well, but they're coming towards the home turn then there. And Northern Life is two lengths clear of Western Warmth in second. High Admiral is in third. 
Then comes Carbon Neutral, the Overlord, Dimwits beaten. Look at that, he's trying to run on, but it's Northern Life, who's two lengths clear of Western Warmth as they come to the second last, and over it they go. And a really good jump by Northern Life, who's got away from it well. Western Warmth is under pressure. Northern Life is racing towards the final fence then. Comes through it nicely, gets over it well. Western Warmth is in second, it's a short running, and Northern Life is hanging on, but Western Warmth is getting up on the outside, and Western Warmth seals it on the line. Western Warmth wins it. Northern Life is second in the Overlord. And Lloyd Alley and I and Dimwit through the valley of jumps and carbon neutral will be lost. Stan Miller in the straight as well. But Darren Thompson, his western warmth, ran down Northern Life. Looked like Northern Life had got enough to hang on, but didn't have in the end. And western warmth for Darren Thompson is the winner. Northern Life for Kevin Meenahan was second. The overlord, Joshua Sutherland, third. Laurel Alley for Leon Van Rensburg, run on nicely to be fourth. And High Admiral for Paul Rhodes was fifth.